policies are effective, are good, does more good than harm. Um, because of Bolivia. Bolivia proves the efficiency of anti-drug policies. Without U.S. led anti-drug policies, Bolivia's coca production increased, according to Brad Kyle Good House, 2012. Bolivia is Brazil's largest supplier of cocaine and the world's third largest producer, but now I'm second. Um, According to the UN Office on Drugs and Crime, illicit production of coca is on the rise in Bolivia, increasing from 25,400 metric tons to 2000, in 2005 to 30,900 metric, metric tons in 2009. Cocaine seizures in Bolivia also increased. That is because increasing in, increased production of also means that seizures have increased. Um, if U.S. Um, contention, contention to interdiction. Interdiction activities in Central America like Operation Hammer are successful. Seizure of hundreds of tons of cocaine, millions of dollars in black market. According to Asian France, Southern Command officials told AFP that 13 countries are participating. Britain, Canada, Belize, Colombia, El Salvador, France, Guatemala, Honduras, the Netherlands, Nicaragua, Panama, Spain, and the United States. He noted that criminal organizations are very active in coastal waters of Central America. They regularly move between international waters and specific countries. So it's especially important that all countries in the region cooperate in the country. No completion date has been set for the action called Operation Hammer, which began the last week of January. In 2011, the Southern Command assisted, assisted other agencies in seizing 919, uh, 119 metric tons of cocaine, worth an estimated $2.35 billion in Central America. Also seized were $21 million in cash and $16 million in black market items that were destined for money laundering by criminal groups, according to the Southern Union. So, if U.S. policies in Latin America does more harm than good, they're going to move it to Asia. But that is worse because Latin American societies are not the only ones threatened by global protectionist. Illegal opium production takes place in Pakistan, Afghanistan, China, India, Thailand, Vietnam, Burma, and other countries in South and Central Asia. Many of those nations are struggling to become Latin American societies. Uh, Latin American societies are not the only ones threatened by the global model. are struggling to become more market-oriented and establish the foundations of civil society. U.S. supply reduction efforts are increasingly focused, uh, focusing on countries that produce those drugs. Yet, an aggressive persecution of a drug war has managed to undermine real, relatively well-rooted democracies such as Colombia's. There is every reason to believe that U.S. drug policy in Asia Time. may be